Republicans in the U.S. Congress have made an extraordinary escalation in their feud with Democrats over the southern border. Early this morning, the Republican-controlled House Homeland Security Committee approved two articles of impeachment against Alejandro Mayorkas, who is the Secretary of Homeland Security. Democrats say the articles are light on evidence, that this is all a hyper-partisan move on an issue that is already dominating the 2024 presidential election. Richard Madden is in Washington. He has new details on all of this this morning. Richard, good morning. Hi, good morning, Heather. You're right. House Republicans voted to advance two articles of impeachment against Secretary Mayorkas. His job is to basically oversee and enforce America's border security. So the first article is what they call willful and systematic refusal to comply with the law. And the second is breach of the public trust. Now, this all stems, as you noted, from the ongoing crisis at the U.S. southern border with Mexico. A surge of migrants have been crossing at record levels, overwhelming border guards and putting the system at a breaking point. Point. Government records show more than a quarter million migrants entered illegally just in the last month. And Republicans, of course, are making immigration a key issue in November's election. So they're amping up attacks against Democrats and the White House with these two articles of impeachment. Joe Biden has turned every community into a border community with his failed policies. Joe Biden and Secretary Mayorkas refused to enforce our laws by rolling out the red carpet for illegal immigrants. Now, Democrats call this a political stunt with the fingerprints of former President Donald Trump. They say the impeachment articles don't meet the Constitution's standards of high crimes and misdemeanors and are firing back. House Republicans have clearly turned their ever-shrinking majority over to the extremists. And this sham impeachment of Secretary Mayorkas is just another sad example. So buckle up. This historic vote is reportedly set for sometime next week. And if it passes, Mayorkas would be the first cabinet member to be impeached in nearly 150 years. But that's a big if. So, and that's my question. What is the likely outcome here, Richard? Yeah, Heather, Republicans hold a slim two-seat majority in the House, and not all of them are on board. So even if this does pass, an impeachment trial would face similar headwinds in the Senate, where Democrats hold a slim majority. Now, this is all happening as a bipartisan group of senators are trying to broker a separate deal that would give President Biden more powers to regulate border crossings. But Republicans pushing for changes are seeing their efforts undermined by former President Trump, who'd rather campaign on the issue than give Biden a win. So... This is all a stunning display of hyperpartisan divided government, everyone ratcheting things up in this election year. Stunning display indeed. Richard Madden, thank you very much. You bet.